as an indication to the nature of light scale vessels.
So this is a simple picture explains the hierarchy, the behavior of hierarchy. Can, so in those days, uh, 5, 2, 3, 0, alpha already better than that is that better? Which one? The previous of say, or say that? No, no. Yeah. So what is the, the, the left uh, motivation? Oh, motivation is because the Because here, it must generally see the, the hierarchy and also it's one. Yeah, but I think it's the well, I think it's major in late 70 or 80. And uh, so in the community, it's widely accepted that just a unified picture emerged, namely that the uh, the heavy the heavy scale method like F not 1370, blah blah blah. They are they are a P wave kickbar state. Okay? And uh, for the last scale measure like Sigma Kappa, A no Nahi, A no Anhi, they are four box state, S wave, S wave uh, four box state. Okay. So this uh, this uh, unified picture is uh, almost widely accepted in the community. And in fact the uh, last calculations indicate the two box picture, uh, the two box nature for the A no value A. And the other KZ star, KZ star for the circuit, for the heavy, for the heavy scale vessel, and the focal nature for the light scale vessel, like, like sigma and kappa. But the, the second one is uh, still kind of controversial because some uh, recent last integration uh, reach a different uh, conclusion for their focal tank for the light scale vessel. Uh, as you know, like, the steam moon bundle is uh, 80, years, 80 years old this year. And he is still quite active in research, and uh, he still posted a paper to the archive uh, in March. Okay, and uh, so he tried to try to understand the uh, scale vessel in the framework of the large MQCD. So he reached the second conclusion as uh, about here. Okay, uh, in the past ten years, Baba and the last paper, Baba Bear had measured the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, so BTK is the final state of the scalar method. So we try to understand, we try to test the quark nature of the uh, quark structure of the light and scalar methods. So we will, we will use the framework of the QCD polarization uh, developed by Belen, Gulala, Mulder, and Sprata. So you can see the vertex of the correction, spectral organic detection, and analysis type But in practice, uh, it's very difficult to study the uh, uh, four-clock picture for the light scale method because we don't know how to study four-clock four uh, model. So, so in practice, we only study the two-clock model for the scale method. And uh, hopefully, with this, through the study of the heavy method decay, we can shed some light of the scale of the light and then also heavy uh, scale methods. Okay, uh, first of all, we define some uh, decay constant. Uh, you normally, the uh, decay constant defines through the uh, scope of factor current. So it's defined as uh, the scalar, coming constant, decay constant of the scalar meson. Okay. Now, this is scalar meson, this uh, decay constant you is quite small uh, because of the neutral scalar meson. Through the, through the charge conservation, you will see that uh, the decay constant of the neutral F0 sigma and the neutral A0 actually vanishes. So, nevertheless, we can see another decay constant defined through the scalar density, okay, and uh, defined as for FS bar. And then through the equation motion, the, uh, the uh, scalar decay constant can be related to the factor decay constant through the simulation. Now, normally, they are, the factor decay constant is quite small. Okay, you see that uh, it's uh, only almost 1 MeV for the uh, A dot, and it's about 35 MeV for the KZ star. But the uh, MVS bar is quite large. The scalar frequency is quite large. Okay. In fact, it's about the typical is about 300 MV for the, uh, for the typical scalar uh, scalar Now, for the uh, lack of distribution attitudes, we, we have to know the wave function. Okay. Uh, you just just like a just like a high or low measure, you just expand the, the wave function in terms of the phantom power polynomial. And uh, calculate the uh, phantom power uh, moment in the DM. 
And unlike the for the pion the domain song, for the pion the domain song, the uh, the dominant uh, background moment is uh, the, the even one like B zero and the B B two B four blah blah blah. But for the future scale version, it's not going to work. It's uh, the dominant term is governed by the uh, the outer like B one B three. So the, uh, for the pi on the domain song, the wave function is uh, symmetric, but uh, for the A0, the wave function is anti-symmetric. So it behaves quite different from the pi on the domain song. Now, in this work, we can see a two different scenarios for the, uh, the heavy scalar wave song. Okay, depends from the, uh, depends from the structure of the uh, light scalar wave song. In the scenario one, we assume that the power A dot A B or A dot A B, there are no sliding states. Okay. So the heavy scalar meson like the phase star or insert in power rock, they are first exciting a QB bar state. Okay. The second scenario here, we assume that there are lots of light QB bar state. So the first exciting state will lie uh, between like two point uh, two uh, to two point three G V. Okay. So the light scalar meson uh, cannot be Ground state, QQ bar state, or first excited state. So most likely the light scale meson would be a uh, bound state of the four block, four blocks. Okay. So we first of all consider the uh, uh, applied the QD foundation with uh, the two star or the circuit to the five in the scenario two. Okay. So this is a prediction of QG foundation. This experimental result. Uh, for the B meson decay to shoot, to shoot the scale meson, we know, we know that the experimentally B to K dark time is the, is the, most, is the largest uh, branching fraction in the two body decay. It's so about order like 70 and 10 to minus 6. But, but if you replace the K by K to star 14 30, uh, the, uh, the branch range is longer than large. The reason is uh, because uh, in the two shooter scale case, the reason that the branch range is so large is because uh, they are two tangent diagrams. They are inter interview constructively. They are comparable. But in here, the uh, the decay constant and the decay star is quite small. Okay, so they are not comparable. And uh, in terms of the realistic calculation boundaries, actually they are quite they are not large and small. Okay. So anyway, our tissue budget calculation is uh, consistent with the experimental measurement. But in PQC, it predicts uh, very large. It's very strange. Okay, 77. That's okay. the minus 6. Again, here is uh, the final uh, state uh, K0 star 1430 with a factor based on low omega 5 in the scenario 2. Again, you see that uh, our prediction uh, in good agreement with uh, Experimental measurement. Uh, again, for PQCD, too small for the K0 star low, also too small for the K0 omega, too large for the K star 5. Okay. And we consider different scenarios scenario 1, scenario 2. So far, I will stick to the scenario 2. Okay. So let's compare to the, the scenario 1. And you see that the scenario 1 is too small for this one, for this guy, too small for the K0, K0 star omega, and then too large. Uh, also too small for the okay, star five. Okay, so it turns out that the scenario one is uh, almost a dwarf, or at least it's largely disfavored, and scenario two is much, uh, much better favored. And then in scenario two, the star 1430 is a most likely QB bar state. So you see, implies that the light scale method are most likely a uh, bounce state of four blocks. So for the PQCP calculation, previously is strong sense to do they have also scenario one, scenario two, scenario three, one? They have a two scenario. They follow our uh -huh. first paper. They also have two scenarios. So uh, one of them will be more close to the data? Oh. This, this, this no, 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 no. Scenario two, scenario one usually is much louder than scenario two. In so if the scenario two is louder, then so you don't expect it. Usually they are Yeah, yes. Or maybe, maybe shifting or you will team issue. Okay. Uh, then we turn to the uh, KZO star pi. Okay. In here, uh, look at the, the data. It's a bar and a bell. 
there are some large discrepancy between Baba and Bell. Okay, we want it to like 72, 52. Okay, large discrepancy. Okay, it has it has not been resolved. Okay. Now the key validation is actually the prediction, except for this one, they are too small for the KGO star I minus and the KGO star minus I plus. Too small. In this case, the PPC prediction actually is better. Okay. And uh, so the QG validation actually we can if we allow some power correction to the bigger line distribution, and we can accommodate this data. But then we have trouble then for other to more. Because for other to more, we, if we allow power correction, then the, the agreement will be destroyed. Okay. And uh, so for QG validation, we have the, the, the prediction is uh, somehow lousy for the KCO type, but it's good for the KCO star low. And the, and it's other way around for PGT. PGT predicts good, it's a good prediction for the KGO star high, but not so for the KGO, KGO star low. And then we turn to the KGO star P. Uh, experimentally, you don't see any observation, they're only up above, okay? And uh, PQCD predicts a uh, too large KGO K. And uh, in QG validation, A0, A0 plus is a, A0 minus pi plus is much suppressed, suppressed relative to the A0 plus pi minus. Okay. But it's no, no, A0 plus K minus. Okay. But it's the other way around in the PQCD. You see PQCD here is uh, 9.7 and uh, 0.86 here. But uh, in, in uh, in QG position is out of the okay. Also, the uh, ATO minus pi plus should be highly suppressed relative to the ATO plus pi minus. Okay. And the reason is uh, simple because uh, this decay is a proper, proportional decay constant of the, the pi, and this one is covered by the decay constant of the ATO minus. Okay. And so, so our prediction for the ATO. Plus plus is uh, this one, okay, and this is consistent with the experimental upper bound. And so it's, if the experimental upper bound is pushed to down to the one times ten minus six, it may indicate the bulk nature for the ACO, because uh, in the bulk nature, the bulk nature would be no surprise. Also, we can see that the scenario one is very true for the ACO 1450, and again, scenario one is not just like the ACO star. So it's indicated that uh, indeed uh, as your 1450 is uh, it's a lost line to work state. Okay. And uh, or in Chan in Chan decay, as your 980 has been seen. It, it, it's easy to produce in Chan decay. So here we predict that the uh, immediate uh, sorry, immediate decay, if you look at the decay model, as your 980 uh, here should be high. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we predict that uh, you want to spend how much measure is to pay more because we predict it's uh, like 20, uh, the branching fraction is like 23 times 10 to minus 6. It's large enough to be seen. Okay, the last one is uh, to ignore 980 KL. Okay. In the two-point model, in the two-point model, Actually, AT or NAMI is not a pure fixed bar state because of the observation of the decay mode, just side to the F no omega. Okay? So just a mixing between the F no and sigma. Okay? Uh, so just a mixing for sigma. Okay? So, uh, so for the K mass, for the F0 K mass final state, there's uh, two final levels. And uh, it's the dominant one is this one. And anyway, uh, the, uh, the decay rate is quite sensitive to the decay constant of the F0 and uh, we call it uh, the decay constant of the F0 is uh, 370 MeV so we calculate the, the bridge fraction of the F0K and the F0K star okay. this is a uh, this is uh, experimental on our region so we can pick out what's the uh, mission of theta the theta is a uh, it's a bit of a scene of 20 degrees. In fact, uh, just a few months ago, LCGB has measured this uh, range fraction. And uh, so they claim that uh, the theta must be 
less than 30 degrees. So it's consistent. It's a kind of measurement. So does this mean that uh, the Epitone uh, IVAT is a made of box? Actually, it's not uh, so conclusive. The reason is the follows. If, uh, if F0 is made of four box, you have two more diagrams. You can have more diagrams. Okay? You have additional diagrams. But unfortunately, we, you, I mean, technically, we don't know how to calculate those diagrams because they are non categorizable diagrams. First of all, we don't know how to calculate the your four quark models, like a wave function of the decay constant. Okay. So anyway, uh, let me jump to the conclusion. So except, except for the uh, K0 pi, the B to the B meson to the decays to the stellar meson can be accommodated uh, in the QT hybridization without introducing any power corrections induced from the paper analysis. And the scenario two is two, uh, scenario two is preferred, and scenario one is a rule of for the uh, heavy scalar meson like uh, A0 for 150 and K0 for the circuit. So this implies that uh, the heavy scalar meson are made of two quarks. Okay. So in other words, light scalar meson are most likely made of uh, a bound state of the four quarks. Thank you. If four quark states are lighter than the two quark states, would you not expect six quark states are even lighter? The reason four quark states here is lighter than two quark states uh, two reasons. First of all, you don't, you don't have a potential area due to the orbital angular moment, which costs you almost a 600 degree. And you're not the ES way? Well, yeah, just no. The ES way, we don't have the orbital angular moment. Right, right, right. The first of it. Second reason is in the, in the four quark state you have some quark contraction, contraction, so the energy will be reduced. This is more technical. So well, because of those four reasons, for well, uh, six quark, for six quark, you have even more contraction. Mm -hmm. No, six quark uh, is more complex. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in this case, it's very special. <laughs> 